to introduce this video I would um, share a little email that I received just today <laughs> from somebody called cashless bread yes you know the um, the disease that Christianity causes in people the delusion you know the symptom of the disease is <laughs> The delusional thinking um full blown he, full flower in this in this particular person writing me this this see 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 <laughs> this letter you are this is this is it in its most <laughs> fully developed state yes i got this email oh my <laughs> i have to share it Okay, so I thought I would I would have to do this now so I could read it without, you know, doing the point blank thing with the phone. Okay, so this is an email I got today from Cashless Bread. Satan and his angels comprise a workforce more efficient than the FBI using decepting as a strength. Their goal is to lead as many souls to hell as possible. From Bible days until now, Satan has used necromancy as his prime tool. The belief that we continue living after death without judgment. Demons masquerading as human ghosts and create false religions to support this tool. However, in these last days, Satan has made an additional pathway to hell, desiring men to doubt the Bible and embrace secularism. He enforces demons to shapeshift as UFOs, aliens, and Sasquatch worldwide. On his final push, Satan will use the alien tactic to lure the masses to hell. His plan is clever. During a world war, demons will manifest as aliens of peace. Again, Satan uses human DNA to form a Nephilim hybrid race. Genesis 6-4 Satan will shapeshift giant UFOs atop our cities as the demon hybrids interact with men on land. Like the TV show Alien Nation, this will instantly cause a world government and enforce the biblical Antichrist. Now, having seen Satan's schemes, Will you still be deceived? To avoid hell, all one has to do is to accept Jesus as friends. Is that so hard? <laughs> Woo! Oh boy, where are the guys in the white things, you know, the white coats, where are they, where are the guys, oh my gosh, this is, this is what this religion does, 
you know, ugh, you know, either they, they start out normal and then they have this religion infect them and they become like this. Woo! Twisted, delusional, completely separated from reality. Or they were this way before and they're just drawn toward the crazy teachings of this religion. I don't know. I don't know which comes first. The chicken or the egg? The crazy person or the religion? Anyway, I had to share that. Now for the rest of my video. So with the last example that I just that I just posted to start off my little video, um, you see a really good example of an extremist. <laughs> Somebody who has extreme black and white thinking now, I'm hoping this person just wrote me that as a joke and that it wasn't actually true. Somebody, maybe they thought, you know what, let's, let's make something so ridiculously stupid that she, let's just see if she makes a video about it. <laughs> you know, and I honestly think that might be that it, that, that was just so, that somebody deliberately made the most stupid comment ever to see if I would make a video. Well, here I am making a video, but you know, if they are in fact sincere in their little comment, <laughs> the um it's a great example of somebody who has extreme black and white thinking um they they know for 100 percent fact that all this is going on um this is why i i think it's um it's harmful to have this i know attitude about things i think i think when you when you get to the point where you can say or you you feel you know that you have the ability to say I know that you're confident enough to say I'm sorry I have no voice this morning <clears throat> to say I know when when it, when you really don't know there's nothing to show you know um, you're in danger of slipping into the overly extreme category either direction I have to watch the time on this because I'm <clears throat> excuse me I'm using my high de my high definition camera because my other camera the cable was chewed up on my dog and I have to wait till Friday so I can order a new cable so in the meantime I'm using this HD camera and I have to watch and make sure the file each each clip doesn't go over like three minutes otherwise it's too long and my computer will turn off before the clip gets to upload you know no it only goes about five minutes my computer. So anyway, um, so this is why I think it's dangerous to have this, plus the fact that you go around attacking other people um, and calling them names for, <clears throat> you know, not being able to believe. <laughs> Just having the attitude, well, God is obvious, you know, or it's obvious there's no such thing as God. I mean, I think that's bad, black and white thinking. I think that, um, <clears throat> damn, where did my voice go? I think that I'm not an, I don't claim that I'm an agnostic in my video. I don't ever make the claim. I don't hold that title, oh, I'm an agnostic. I'm, you know, I'm not one of those people that can't make up their mind. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. But I'm not, you know, I don't know. Just like, um, no, we're running out of time, so I have to kind of think about making a new clip. I just had a conversation with John on my, on my, channel about aliens, you know, and the possibility of aliens living somewhere else, or all, we won't say aliens, because aliens conjures up images of flying saucers and UFO watchers and all that. Okay, end of clip, coming back. Let's say instead, life on other planets. John and I were having a conversation. John Quinn, name, name him, ah! about the possibility of life on, I think his last name is Quinn, anyway, on other planets. And, and life, you know, like even, even down to a germ or, or a, a whole society of beings, right? And we're talking about, you know, I'm, I'm pointing out the immensity of the universe and how many billions of galaxies there are and how many trillions of stars are in each galaxy and how many of those have planets around them and the sheer number you know makes it in my opinion of course there's life elsewhere you know and he's like well no I don't think so you know there's nothing to show there's no evidence whatever 
<clears throat> you know, but as I as I pointed out to him after we had this little f round and round for a while, we'll never know which one of us is right. We don't know. There's no way that either one of us can know that the other one is wrong or right. John could be right. I could be right. We will never know. You know, and so I think it's the same thing with God. Nobody is ever, or God's, you know, nobody will ever know. You know, well, maybe, maybe someday, maybe, maybe someday, but in our lifetime, there will never be a, oh, we have discovered that there's a God. We don't, that's very unlikely to happen because the people who believe in him don't actually bother to try to find evidence. And people who don't believe don't see any point in f trying to find evidence for something they don't think exists. So we'll, we'll never know. There'll, there'll always be, well, you know, it's one of those mysteries like, is there a flock of purple dragons living on the backside of Pluto? You know, until we actually go to Pluto and check out the entire planet, we're not going to know that there isn't a flock of dragons on Pluto. To say, I know there's no flock of dragons on Pluto. Really? How do you know that? Were you there? Did you go there? <laughs> I just I just threw out a Christian thing. Were you there? Ah, <sighs> oh, see? I used to be a Christian. Every now and then it sneaks up in my dialogue. But yeah, unless you go to Pluto and, and check out the planet, right now you don't know that right now there isn't a flock of purple dragons. You know? And I think it takes some measure of humility to, to acknowledge when you don't know something. I don't know that there isn't a God. I don't believe there is a God. There's a difference. And I do claim the title atheist. I don't call myself an agnostic, ever. But if you want to pin me down to exactly what it is, I'm an agnostic, atheist, anti-theist. I, I will fight Christianity. I'm not just going to sit back and go, oh, you know, it's too bad those people are so deluded, but, you know, live and let live if it makes them happy. It also promotes a poison. that <clears throat> They might be happy, and it might <clears throat> be a happy, positive thing in their life. But it, <clears throat> damn, <laughs> oh, no voice, really, seriously, this is bad, I need, I need coffee. Um, it promotes a poison that is ultimately causing serious harm to our society, you know? So, um, now we're past, or I have to stop the clip now. So that's basically what I wanted to say. I think that it's arrogant, it's profoundly arrogant to say, I know there's a God, or to say, I know there is no God. I don't believe in God. There's no evidence anywhere. There's no proof. There's nothing manifesting in the world. And that's another thing. You know, it's not, it's not the same thing to say that I think that there could be life on other planets than to say, I think there's a God. For me to say, I think there could be life on other planets is a reasonable thing to say. Because the evidence to show whether or not there is, is beyond our reach. In my lifetime, we're never going to get further than our solar system as far as space exploration. In my lifetime, they might decide, they might manage to figure out there's no life in this, in this solar system. But in my lifetime, that, that's as far as they're going to get. So it's perfectly fine for me to think that there could be life in the universe because that question will never be answered in my lifetime. That knowledge, that the chance of finding the answer is beyond our reach at this time. Just like many things in science, it's still beyond our reach. Doesn't mean the answer isn't out there. We haven't found it yet. Um, however, God is claimed to be here between the, my, my camera and me right now in this room, everywhere. God has claimed to be everywhere. So he is within our reach. So we should be able to verifiably test his presence. We should be able to, there should be some manifestation of his presence. Just like, yeah, air is invisible, but you see the branches of the trees moving. 
you know air manifests itself it affects the planet you know even if it's unseen you can still see the effects of air God is supposed to be like air everywhere and yet there's nothing to show he exists. There's nothing manifesting on this planet. He does not affect this planet. We do not see anything that we can test or verify or confirm or whatever <clears throat> of God. And he's right here within our reach. So to me to say that a God exists and I know it, you know, is absurd when there's no evidence and it is right here within our reach. We should be able to, if he is everywhere, we should be able to test him. We should be able to verify his existence in a lab. You know, there should be some kind of manifestation of his presence here in this room. And there isn't. So that's why I think it's a different thing to say. To claim, I think, that a God exists, or to claim, I think, life exists in the universe. In one case, the knowledge is not within our reach yet, and so it's entirely possible that there is life in the universe. But for God to say, I think he exists when there's nothing, and it is within our reach. See, that's why I think the difference is. So anyway, um, this is going to be like four or five clips long, this video. Um, hopefully, this is why I never use this camera, because even though the... the the picture's better and it gets to show all the even more of my age. <laughs> um, I don't like the fact that I have to make these short little clips. So that's what I wanted to say. I think it's a different thing to claim. You know, there's difference there's a different thing a difference between saying I think there's life on other worlds and saying I think there is a God. But to say that you know I can't say I know there's life on other planets. I'm pretty sure, but I can't say I know. And I certainly can't say I know there is no God. Because I don't, and nobody does. And that's where the arrogance, you know, okay, um, even though he's not testable on this planet, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's black and white. You know, I mean, oh, shit, 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 shit. I didn't want to make another clip. Um, but then I kept going, didn't I? Um, it's just arrogant to say you know. We are puny little beings on this world and extremely minuscule in this universe. We don't know a lot of stuff. Sure doesn't seem like there's a God. I don't believe in a God. There's no evidence. There's no proof. I don't believe in God. I think it's <clears throat> really silly to believe in a God when there's no evidence anywhere. But do I know there's no God? <clears throat> Beyond a shadow of a doubt, no. Just like a Christian doesn't know that there is a God either. Because there's no evidence, there's nothing to show it exists. It's like the, it's like the flock of dragons on Pluto, you know? It, there's a lot of hypotheticals out there that you can say, well... I think this, da, 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 and you can't prove it, so it must be true. You know, there's a lot of shit like that. That's what God is. So maybe, there, maybe there's such a thing as God on some planet, on some in some galaxy, a zillion trillion miles away. Maybe there's a God that lives there. I don't know. I certainly don't think there's a God on this planet, <laughs> or anywhere near this planet. So, okay, that's all I wanted to say on the subject of aliens and God and crazy people with, who have black and white thinking. I think the moment you start thinking in your head that you know something without anything to back it up, no evidence whatsoever, uh, I think that's when you're in danger of sliding down that slippery slope into insanity. And the next thing you know, you're writing notes to people that sound like this guy. <laughs> Jeez, and I think I think it was the movie V that had the big sh the big alien ships above the build or above the buildings. Not or I should say the TV series V had the big ships above the buildings. I think when he said alien nation, he was thinking about he was mistaking that for V. Although alien nation, they might have had a couple shots with big ships, but I don't remember. But I do remember that V did that. Okay, so that's the end of this really strange video. I'm going to see how many days it takes me to upload it. If you've been watching, thanks. 